uh, selecting our final picks. They are going to pick up that Boxia. Uh, so this may be a Boxia. In the Almost impossible to guarantee. Yeah, speaking of guaranteed, we are jumping into the land of dawn. Inside of the virtual arena, we go for Games of Future 2024. Two M Series talents going head to head in Group Stage A. You're going to be seeing all the way outside from Russia. That's right, Deuce Fultz is back in action again, placing fourth in M5, going up against Burmese Gules, all the way from Myanmar. Which way will this game go? Will we see? Dilar leading the way on this uh, Martis, which is actually uh, in the XP lane in the Boxia jungle. Or will we see Magister pull out some magic tricks from his bag with the Guinevere jungle? Yeah, we're going to see, but mid lane is uh, being slightly pressured by Dio's Wolf, and uh, the River minion is being contested. Ruby joins. Ruby is actually. Uh, uh, sorry, Baxia is actually is there, ready to fight, but nobody contesting uh, the River Minion. Uh, Guinevere going for the uh, X-Plane rotation and almost level 4, gonna try to probably use the ultimate, but it's not the best target to gank, actually. The Martis can easily dodge all of this CC. Yeah, and speaking of Martis, you can tell he's definitely going a little bit more defensive, right? He picked up the Concussive Blast um, over there. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be kind of keeping my eyes on him. On the bot side, though, you are going to be seeing uh, Stitch running on this Natan, going up against Hiko on the carry. Both really good heroes when it comes to bursting down your opponents, and it's going to be a battle of who can get to the late game items first. Now, I would definitely expect some heavy prioritization into the gold lanes. If you can delay either the Natan or the carry uh, by getting a kill on them, especially this early in the game, it's going to be huge to be able to take control of this match as we are going to go ahead and see both teams ready to rotate around turtle has spawned in and soxa and magister in position for the aggro and the minotaur and the ruby which is are the roamers trying to take the level four on the mid lane which uh, not going to work obviously but if turtle is being farmed the team gonna get level four first and the uh, Guinevere going in right into the Saxa and the follow up oh with the team which make the kill but the Dedlar is oh, <laughs> revenging their his fallen jungler with his own ultimate and trying to get the double oh. kill which absolutely works with the concussive blast you mentioned which uh, make uh, unnecessary damage and going for the turtle I guess it's not ah is the uh, Saxa going to join uh, right there and the turtle is going to get farmed and that's going to be a double kill for a double kill kid Bomba able to get one first and then dlar right on his back with the decimation is able to claim that and get the turtle and now maybe able to get a kill as sunset lever trying to get out big flicker play able to escape with one hp and now the flank from the side push in the mid lane kid Bomba trying to find on magister very low using the spatial migration to expand that distance back to his orange buff yeah, 300 gold difference and red buff being farmed and again like gold laners are <laughs> just like side just like x planers like i don't know just one we one and the uh, carry is actually being pressured a lot here uh, ultimate probably popped out on the nathan uh, here minotaur gonna get for the bot lane for some heals and the ruby is reading uh, that kind of behavior rotating as well and the queen we're going to uh, gank Nathan I guess but it's going to be hard because of the pet uh, purifies so. Yeah, definitely going to be a challenge. Both teams even so far as we are looking at Myanmar up against Russia, Deuce Fultz up against Burmese Ghouls. Kid Bamba, a crowd favorite, definitely leading the way so far. Highest kills on the board for the side of De uh, Deuce Fultz and then Burmese Ghouls leading the way with Dlar stampeding through two zero and zero interesting enough it's both xp laners leading the way in terms of the kills right now for both sides but you're seeing some heavy focus onto the bot lane you can see the i'm offended go in catch sawo but not able to deal massive damage yeah immediately heals uh back to f almost full with the uh, basic region and uh, seems like nobody is going to gank the bot lane because uh, the stacked up roamers on top of the gold laners nobody wanted to risk it everybody wants like kind of unexpected attack and this is absolutely expected <laughs> to be expected attack uh, 300 gold actually is still holding up to <laughs> after the couple of minutes in uh, it means actually that all of the teams oh that's a a good thing is uh, carry is doing 
in making Nathan lose one Ballista, which is like 100 gold. And uh, team on this level absolutely understanding this. Ve Vengeance being buffed, but not gonna work for the... Uh, Pure damage Martis is doing with his ultimate with the low HP, trying to go on and secure the turtle, but on the other hand, Ruby is actually ulting on the carry and follow up with the Nathan uh, gonna kill the carry as well, and that's big for Burmese goals. And on top of that, trying to even steal the red buff, no retribution being used on Baxia still, but uh, yeah, that's a good sweep by Burmese goals. Yeah, able to get that turtle to give him a massive XP boost as well. Off to a great start. Now taking advantage for the early game, at least leading the way. But on the top side, Nico and Dilar up against Kid Bamba. Stitch will take a turret on the bot lane. Kid Bamba, very low. Dealing some massive damage, though. Able to catch Dilar. <laughs> we'll shut him down. Soxer, though, from the side will crash into Kid Bamba. Ooh, Maybe guy. able to take him down. You are going to see him rush in. Kid Bamba able to escape with one HP. Showcasing his mastery over there on the CC. 4-3 to three so far. Burmese leading the way in terms of kills. But in the mid lane, the narrative may oh. change. Magister expanding that distance with the spatial migration. Able to get back to safety and now focusing on the purple buff. Wow, so good to see Kid Bomba on this on the CC just dancing around the Baxia first skill. Couldn't even stun him. Wow, you you can rarely. I I, I um, saw this kind of behavior when uh, you 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 know flying in and you kind of like circling him and he can't like touch you. But on the Baxia is uh, very rare to see. Wow, absolutely great. Nico. Great follow up of the first skill, not ultimate, but just first skill with the flicker on the Minotaur immediately followed up with uh, other CC. And now he's going to probably ultimate here. First skill being popped, only back should be noted, but he's trying to burst Ooh. down him. No burst down here. Like Guinevere tried to go even further, probably should just enjoy the backshot kill, not go for more, but try to go for more and eventually didn't kill backshot. Yeah, Stitch able to pick up his first kill though, which means it's gonna put him a little bit ahead of Hiko on this carry. Now leading 5100 to 4900 for Hiko right behind him. Did pick up the Golden Staff though, and the Corrosive Scythe. Hiko trying to get those core items. Feather him picked up over there from Stitch alongside the Arcane Boots and the Holy Crystal. A lot of uh, magic damage and pin, uh, which should be translated into some massive output as he engages in these 5v5s. But like we said, it's uh, four to four on the scoreboard. Burmese Schools was able to take that first turtle, second one has spawned in. Can we see Deuce Volts contest this? Yeah, they probably, I mean, the Burmese Goals is the one who's gonna contest it probably. Uh, when you were trying to like, they trying to, it seems like they're trying to just bait the fight because they're not hitting the turtle, not trying to, just just like I said with the little gun, you remember? Like they going for the objectives and the Dios Wolf is kind of baiting for the fight. Ruby's two oh. people ultimate in immediately getting follow up with the almost killing on Nana uh, proc, the passive, uh, exactly, to be exact. And uh, no good answers from Dios Wolf actually it might result the Lord kill here. Yeah, Stitch able to take his second kill of the game. Takes down Hiko, actually, the marksman for the side of Deuce Bolts, which now is going to give him a massive advantage and compared to the marksman's both scaling to that late game. And then I want to kind of put some presence on Dilar. Some great rotations across the map. He cleared his lane and then went to go join the fight on the uh, turtle, which allowed uh, them to get turret advantage for the side of Burmese schools, now leading up by one turret and also able to claim that turret for the uh, turtle for the XP boost. Lord has spawned in Burmese schools at a slight advantage, now leading by 2,000 gold may be able to clash it out and win these fights. Hiko, off to a little bit of a rough start. Yeah, rough start a little bit, but uh, the carries also can't find the kind of um, space for a good fight. Always being in the range of that uh, ultimate of Ruby and being not being able to like kind of dodge the, with its second skill or the flicker kind of should go with it. Purify, I guess, but it's too late. Need to work with the flicker now. Yeah, and you're looking at uh, two purifies from Stitch and Nico, which would work great when Sawa tries to pop up that Minoan Fury, but went them on cooldown, could see a possible set on the way. Aggro from the Lord has been pulled, sitting at 50% HP. Kid Bomba rotating around, having some good zonage, trying to keep the side of Burmese schools at bay, but it looks like they may be able to take this uh, Lord. You're looking at a concealed play called out, though. Soxa 
Winding up inside of the wheel, trying to find somebody to crash into. Double set with the I'm offended, catching two members of Deuce Falls. Big knockup, though, on the way from the Minoan Fury. Burmese School is trying to hold out, but Dylan, some massive blows. You're going to see Deuce Falls rushing in for the kill. Hiko finds Dilar, gets another, takes down Blink. A two for none trade. Make that buy three, get zero deaths as he's going to be able to take all three of them down for the triple kill and we were wondering how Hiko would kind of play into this off to a little bit of a rough start but now able to find his proper footing great way to be able to take this lord but little to no contest and now Deuce Foltz may be able to have the lead for this match like Magister didn't even ult on, on the Gwyniver he just like uh, Minotaur kind of went in uh, he kind of forced to use his ultimate because he gonna uh, dodge all of the CC and he did and the Gwyniver at the same time jumped on the different direction just to save up and didn't even do anything in the fight all of these uh, kills went to carry and the CC basically and the Nana yeah, and now with this Lord, you may be able to see Deuce Foltz claim some more of these turrets. They are now leading up by one, able to take the tier one turret in the mid lane, which means now they have the opportunity to invade the orange and purple bus, but little to no contest from Burmese schools, forcing them a little bit further back in their jungle. And you are going to see uh, Kit Bamba. Great rotation around. We'll be able to proxy off this lane, take the tier two turret on the top side, and now a siege for the tier two in the mid. Yeah, tier 2 is, Lord is being uh, crushed pretty fast and the second wave of minions on the mid lane probably gonna result the tier 2 tower, but uh, the Deuce Bolt uh, actually enjoying like uh, 3 towers and that's gonna be the Lord, uh, uh, called for good Lord, I guess. Yeah, you are gonna see that tier 2 cleared in the mid lane. Now Burmese schools sitting in their base with only the inhibitors to protect them from that base crystal being bursted down from the side of Deuce Foltz. Deuce Foltz! Like you said, two M-Series talents, able to place a little bit higher in M5 over Burmese schools, losing to Blacklist and placing fourth place, showing that they've definitely been practicing since the World Tournament. Burmese schools, though, can't count them out just yet. Definitely have a shot. It's only five, uh, five to seven. They're only down by two in terms of kills. But in terms of gold, you're looking at a 3,000 gold lead for the side of Deuce Folds. Yeah, and the map control just uh, fade uh, back to Burmese Ghost. They kind of, Deuce Wolf kind of didn't want to uh, presence here on the uh, enemy side of map and just went back, let Burmese Ghost go out, probably, maybe, for next their attack. Yeah, and you're looking at the item showcased on the board so far. Nana, Sunset Lover, even though he's not high in kills, he has some massive magic damage. Has the uh, Genius one, also stacked up the Divine Glaive for some of that additional late pin. You're looking at uh, some good ground control. Deuce Foltz playing very comfortably, but they are going to lose that bot side. Nobody there to kind of fend off those minions. Kid Bamba trying to get there in time, but it will fall. There will be another turret into the hands of Burmese schools, and now currently still down by three. They still need to find a way to equalize this economy. When it comes to the 5v5 engagement, we've seen Deuce Foltz able to kind of win it, win it out. Hiko pulling off that massive triple kill and also allowing them to get the Lord has definitely turned this back around in their favor. But can they maintain this lead? Or will we see Burmese schools find a way to disrupt their synergy? Yeah, and the Nana having this uh, James Bond stats and <laughs> gonna <laughs> try to, I don't know, get some kills probably in the next uh, fight. Nathan here with the Ruby trying to maybe pick some random kills uh, on the other side of map of the Lord, knowing that the whole team of the Oswald are probably gonna get for the Lord here. I mean,. I don't know, that's a weird, kind of weird decision and they might find carry here which spot them immediately, even pop the ultimate for uh, additional movement speed just to, to keep herself safe and uh, running into the Lord. Just look at Kid Bamba with the mobility over there with the CC, pressuring D-Lar and Soxa from even being able to enter the Lord pit, providing some great vision for the side oh, of Deuce the Fox right there. there as well. Yeah, and the damage is there, definitely being a problem. He just picked up that Athena shield too. Looks like he was a little bit worried about Nico, uh, possibly uh, Stitch as well, dealing some massive damage. But now, able to kind of frontline, provide the vision, and keep Burmese schools from entering the lore pit seems to be his primary objective. But it's a battle of patience, right? Both teams trying to bait mm -hmm. out some utility to be able to engage and take this neutral objective. Yeah, just like it's solid, like it, you you can clearly see what I meant by the why Lil Gun is going for the 50-50 Lord. Like, see, Deus Will don't want to go towards the 50-50 Lord. They bait an enemy to attack the enemy and only then taking the Lord. That's exactly what I was uh, asking. Like, why 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 do you want to go for these fights? 
Ooh, speaking of fights, Kid Bamba now taking a little bit of damage, sitting at about 75% HP. Entropy being activated by Stitch a little early, not inside of the Lord Pit, though. Magister will claim the Lord. Oh. Forge is Fulton now going to go in for the punish. Knock up with the Minoan Fury. Going to go ahead and get Soxa airborne. Not going to be able to get the kill. Hiko, though, will take down Dlar. One member falling from the side of Burmese schools and also a Lord into the hands for Deuce Fultz. Ah, and the and, uh, Minotaur couldn't, he, he used first skill plus flicker, but he couldn't press ult right immediately and he got stunned and only then he ulted. If he just spammed the ultimate, it would result in probably more kills at this point. Yeah, now with this Luminous Lord, make his way on the top side. Deuce Vault's in a great position to be able to open up the base from Burmese School. They only have their inhibitors to really go through. We're sitting at that 15 minute mark, 45,000 gold compared to 41. This is officially the late game and you are looking at Deuce Waltz. Gonna go ahead and sink these lanes. Lord will be making his way on the top side. Will the shields of Burmese Schools all the way out from Myanmar be able to hold off the dagger from Russia with Deuce Waltz pushing through? The mid lane is being probably gonna get pushed, and the top lane, uh, actually, Lord is going to cast his skill on the turret. And when you're trying to catch the Ruby here, jumping in, having the second phase of the second skill, baiting ultimate and trying to risk it. All three lanes is being pressured. Top lane by the Lord, and other two lanes by the heroes. Mid lane is fallen already. Ultimate here and on Minotaur, but it's super risky. He still get the ultimate, but stuns no one. Dlar can't get his own ultimate decapitate on the Minotaur and try to reverse and take it and uh, <laughs> kind of failed a lot. Uh, not the place you want to be here. Ooh, they're going for the game ender though. They don't have that much minions though. 50% on the base crystal. Socks are very low. Kibamba able to get the kill. Maybe able to get another. Pops of Vengeance. Another will fall. Sunset lever with flying Stitch. Pay attention to the base crystal though. Hiko will find Blink. Blink gets Sawa right before he falls. Hiko takes down Nico. Full wipeout for Burmese skills out from Myanmar. As Deuce Volt will claim victorious, only losing Sawo. And will be able to claim the first match of the series today in group stage A. Off to a great start and showcasing their mastery since the M series. Yeah, Deuce Volt showed that they have the patience especially on the objective patients like uh with the first lord they just didn't 